and today I'm going to be taking a look at the 1993 Action Man Scuba Ski. Uh, as you can see here he comes with the snowboard radar on top but actually included in the box you didn't get him but on the advertisement it showed this was the Action Man that you used with it or the Action Man Swimmer. Uh, this is supposed to be a 3-in-1, it's supposed to go on the snow, on the water and also under the water. So I'll quickly take the Action Man off and then take you a run through of all the modes. Um, one thing is with this toy is absolutely everything falls off it all the time. Trying to pose it, trying to do anything with it, bits just completely falling off. On mine, I will point out right at the beginning, I have got two blue aerials missing. I have got one somewhere, but I just can't find it. I've lost it. Um, so this is supposed to be a shark design. Um, if I close this up, you can kind of vaguely see what they were going for. And I suppose you could call that the mouth. Uh, I do quite like the look of it, it comes with plenty of stickers, we've got the Action Man logo, just a sticker along here, these ones and all around the front, these are supposed to be guns I believe but you can't actually do anything with them, uh, they're just for styling rather than functionality. Inside here we have like a heads up display, if I can get inside so you can see just in there, uh, that's another sticker. Uh, in the configuration I had it in, which is this one down, if I can do it. This one down and that one down, that one's supposed to be on the snow. And then if you push this one up, without bits falling off it, there we go. Uh, that's supposed to be for on the water. You can kind of see it, it looks more like a jet ski there. And then for under the water, just that little nose bit down. So I'm not really sure what difference that makes. Uh, it does come with different types of firing missiles. We've got these ones which are supposed to be for when it's on land and these ones that are supposed to be for when it's underwater. These just pull out and interchange, uh, depending on wh which preference you want. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, this back bit comes off. Another thing to look out for if you're buying on a secondary market is that these are generally broken. This one's broken here, and I haven't found a glue that seems to hold this Action Man plastic at all. I've tried all sorts. Uh, another thing that pops off all the time is this, um, and also the handlebars. So it is quite a finicky toy. Uh, I could see it being very irritating as a child. I never actually had this one. So I can't really say. Um, while I've got it like this, I will show you how the Action Man Swimmer fits in. Uh, so you just slide him through the back, like so. Easy said than done. And then the general idea is that his hands are supposed to fit into the side down here. Um, but I can get one in, but then the other side just pops out so far. And trying to push them together, he just won't go in. But on the box, it's showing that his head's right down inside the display because he's not wearing a snorkel or his mask, so it's just supposed to be tucked in there. Uh, so I'm not too keen on it in this version. I do prefer it in just the actual uh, <coughs> snowmobile version. One thing I almost forgot was with the snowboard radar, you do get the snowboard, and also it comes with a rubber clip underneath. And you just quickly pull that off, and on the back of the scuba ski, you've got a little tab here. And all you do simply is push this onto the bottom and it can tow it along. The scuba ski does actually come with wheels here, here and here so it can pull along quite nicely. And that was the 1993 Action Man scuba ski. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more raw pain reviews. Yee!